So again, you know, the government all that it can in order to incentivize uh, the vaccination process so that we can achieve herd immunity as soon as possible. One of the things that we have done as well, the cabinet recently decided that there will be an automatic extension of four months uh, for illegal uh, immigrants who are unvaccinated. We want them to come above ground. We want individuals to stay um, below the radar because they may not have any time in the country and do not get vaccinated. Hmm. Because the thing about COVID is that you are as vulnerable as the most vulnerable person. And obviously, the most vulnerable uh, within our society could well be, well be some of those um, undocumented immigrants, especially those in poor communities. You have um, population pressures, um, you know, living in close proximity to each other and so on. We want to make sure that we get them above ground and sort them out, get them vaccinated. Mm -hmm. And um, we would have given them an assurance before that there will be no um, removal from the state. Mm -hmm. Uh, before I actually couch it in the word, the, in the, using the word um, deportation, that there will be no um, deportation. Hmm. Uh, deportation is really a legal issue, but that is what people understand, you know, the removal from the state, um, you know, for not having uh, been legally resident here, they understand it as um, deportation. So that is why I use the term, even though, you know, legally, uh, it's, it's, it's really a court issue for the court to um, literally deport someone. Uh, so again, no one will be removed from the, the state or, or um, deported, and um, therefore we are asking individuals to um, get vaccinated as soon as possible, even if you are an illegal immigrant. Uh, we are. I want to make the point here too that you know, um, and to caution our citizens and our residents that they have to guard against complacency. 